All right, welcome back, guys. Um, it might be my internet that you guys are noticing issues with. Uh, so yeah, might be mine. I've I've got some pretty crummy internet at the moment. Um, Tuesday I get fiber. But I'm still going to need to get it wired to my computer, and that is on Edward to do. I'm currently using the power power boxes. I don't know what they're called, where you plug in and you use your power lines to transfer internet from one spot to another in the house. And I have had issues with them in the past that make them a little unreliable, but that's what we have in our new house at the moment, so... Twitch has been having problems this morning. All right, we'll blame Twitch. My internet's fine, guys. It's Twitch. Twitch, Twitch is the problem. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go down another row. Whoa! Dang it! I should have tried to kill him. Should have tried to kill him, guys. I have to try to kill ten of them. Blame Twitch. Always blame Twitch. I know. I yes, I know. Ethernet is better than the power supply thing. I realize this, guys. I really do. Yep, creeper confetti. Um, I haven't lit this area up, so it's very likely pretty dangerous. But this is all at iron level. Holy moly, is it dangerous? <laughs> Yeah. It's what I have, Silver. It's what I have right now. So... Meh. The amount of bad people. I just I'd like to get that way. It might be a little easier if I could collect this and get this water. Look at them all. Got one of them. They're splashing in the water. Oh my gosh, someone found a crimson knight. Oh jeez. I've only got so many arrows, so I need to be careful. Dang it. You dropped a bow. Did you guys drop anything? This water. A shield would be a good idea, but it requires a piece of iron. How far does this water go? Ugh. Well, that's magic. So we've got some natron here. Yeah, nope. Ow. Heal, man, heal. I've got 29 arrows. That has insight. Get some more XP if I use it.
Your bow is pretty scary. Your bow is pretty scary. <laughs> Hi. Well, well, thank you there. Those are better than the aluminum ones I'm wearing, aren't they? Oh, they look about the same. Anyway. Ooh, you dropped your helmet. I don't have one of those. And some bows. Yay, you dropped some bones. All right, so I s yay. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna go caving, and then what do I do? Iron right there! Oh my gosh! I made a mom farm, you're right! The thing is, is I'm running too far away. So they're not able to get to me. There's iron that I want right there. Hello. Okay, I got you. There was another one somewhere. Where are you? You're probably above me. There's also a creeper. Which I would love to pick off because we need to kill ten of them. There he is. Do you want to come down? Hello. Thank you. Now, where did that creeper go? There are a few. Is that my torch you're holding? Maybe not. Where are you? Hello? Oh, there's that skelly that pegged me. Oh, hello. Iron! Hey! <laughs> Yay, iron! Oh, there's more. There's more dudes. Are you gonna be able to find your way to me? Hello? 
don't want to waste my arrows. Of course. What were my- what are you talking about? What do you mean those were my cats? What- what? Oh, you heard- you heard Hermes meowing. He should be settled. I don't even know where he is right now. <laughs> yep. Hello? Hello? We're gonna try and just get him. You have a brain. Maybe it should be in your head. Okay. I want this iron. I'd like to light you up a little bit. Ow. More iron. Oh, we need in here. We need in here. He's still following me. Hi. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of torches. That could be a problem because I do not have coal. There's iron right there, I think. Unless that's Natron. Let's run over there. Are you iron? You are. Give me iron. Run back. We have 14. Well, we have 15 technically because the zombie gave us one. Oh, I hear more. I have more badness around here. Woo! There is a guy down there. Hello? Would you like to die by my blade today? Thinking about it? Thank you. Hey, a torch. Um... Okay, so that's probably gonna be it for us for now. We've got 15 iron. I wanted to be done when we had 16, so I'm gonna say that's enough.
Whoops. Alright, so we need to put you in there. We need to make sure you have everything you need. We really need to be able to make upgrades for these drawers. What is the first one? Obsidian. Um, do I have any? I think I used it all on the enchanting table. Anyway, mob drops over here. Let's get into our stuff here. Don't need to be done in order. What doesn't need to be done in order? That's vanilla food pantry. That's vanilla. The drawers upgrade. I know, but I don't want to consume iron. And the rest of these, I mean, really, we don't have a whole lot of stuff. I'm trying to be a little conservative. <laughs> okay, let's take the rest of this stuff out. We're gonna need you very soon. I don't need you in here at all. Natron, redstone, lapis, nether quartz, lead. Got another piece of iron. A single torch. We should go uh, make some more, um, more wood. Make charcoal. Alright, let's you out? Oh, you know what else we should do? Because I know I will die. There we go. Experiencing a little bit of lag. Three, come on, you, 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 cheapskate. All right, um, we should actually turn, let's turn that into torches. And put you in there. Water. So we're going to use this iron for good. <laughs> we're going to use it for good. Um, let's go down here. You go in. He was probably turned on his machines. That causes the lag. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure it's me. 
right now. Um, my, my OBS software is constantly telling me that I'm dropping at least 30% of my frames and has been telling me that all stream. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's a combination of our quality of internet, which isn't very good, and the fact that I'm using the power lines to get the internet from the router up to where my office is until Edward can do the networking. And yeah. All right, let's do our mana pylons. Um, it's mana diamonds and mana steel. Okay. And I considered putting this outside, um, out here, but I, uh, there's, it's not an even spot and I don't want the enchantment table off to the side somewhere. Although, I mean, I could put the pylons here and put the enchantment table here and it would still count. That one probably wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. So we're just, you know, we'll put it inside. Up here. All right, so let's do it. Why can't I shift click you in? Anyway. Is it the other way? Yeah, it is the other way. Woo. Um One there, one there, and then let's move you. We'll put you, we could put you right here and save space, but do that. And now we have full enchants whenever we want them. Um, great. So the next thing we need to do is mana armor. That's what the iron is for that's downstairs. Here. Whoa. All right. Oh, I forget, is it 24 or 27 for a full set? Oh, we need more. <laughs> we need more mana before we can do these other two, which is okay. That won't take too long. Um, let's get this stuff going. do this. Chest plate. Pants. Oops. We should go see what we can enchant them with. Um, I probably won't be able to do max. I don't have that much XP. Let's see how much I have. I have 24. That's it, 24 levels. So we're gonna need to be real careful. Boots. Why have I only gotten one? Um, hmm. 
Hang on a second. Oh, because I only- did I only put one thing of lapis in there? No. Do you really need to be- I thought you could be anywhere within the range of... Maybe he's got this? Nope, there we go. I had it wrong. So, Feather Falling 2 sounds really nice. It would take nine levels. But some Feather Falling sounds really nice. Would I be interested in a trade? Maybe. That's all I got was Feather Falling 2. Oh well. Okay, next. Pants. We actually might, if we don't get a good enchant, we might actually put um, the prote projectile protection um, that we got the book for. Fire protection, that was darn good. Let's do fire protection. Boop. And then we have a chest. Protection two, yep. Woo, now we just need a head. Hey, infinite. Yep, Batania. One set of mana, armor, and tools for two stacks of iron. Uh, well, I don't have the mana right now to do that. I will in time, but I could make you a set. I would need, you would need, okay, let's put it this way. If you pay for your own iron for the mana set, and give me one stack of iron in payment for the mana, I'd be fine with that. All right, here's our helmet. And let's go get this grinding some more. I need to really, I would really love to make a hopping bonsai and I could automate this process. That's really what I should work towards, but I don't know how much they cost. Um, where did I see them at? Here. Five silver, we can buy it and we get four of these. Okay, we're doing this because that way I can put a bonsai on top of my hopper there and it will just drop all of the results. And um, if we use spruce, I think, yeah, if we use spruce, we won't get any apples or anything. And so that means everything that drops out of there will be able to be consumed and that'll be faster than this. And while it won't produce as much as if I'd run it through a furnace, which I guess I could do that too. Hmm. All right. Yep. I know what we're doing. I know what we're doing. Okay. Let's drop off our gear here that we just did. For you, you got that. All right. That in there. That in there. Let's. Oh, wait. No. We need. Let's see what we get on our helmet. Pro yeah, protection's good. So we have two pieces of protection. One's protection two, one's protection one. Fire protection and feather falling. I'm happy with that. So let's do that. And then we have a couple of tools. I don't want soulbound smites, okay. Efficiency 2. All right.
right, let's go grab Ooh, sharpness two. We could do it. Let's go get the lapis. Sharpness two would be nice. There's Comet Lore. Hello, I'll be right back. I want to do this before I forget this is what I was doing. Yeah, sharpest two. Woot! Great. So I will make your stuff. Where would where do you live? So that I can drop it off in case you're not here. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Let's do the purchase. Um All right, we've got those, we have dirt. Oh, let's grab saplings. Spruce saplings. Path side of nuggets. Cool. All right, first one. <laughs> Two simpletons in the wild. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure you can't put... Oh, you can. That's going to be a problem. Hmm. I'm wondering if, because if it puts, it can't, blah, blah, blah. I can't have saplings go in here or it will stop working. But I don't know. It might just be easier to do. Hello. There we go. If we just put it here. And whatever it comes out will get consumed. Alright, so we need to do... Got eight. We're working on Comet Lore's gear. Um, did I? I didn't put down any more trees. We're gonna put this out here. And a bit of gear. We need a bit of sticks. We're gonna start with pick. Axe. 
I don't know why I didn't use it. At all. <laughs> I don't know why, I just fist punched it. Ooh, I've got two hearts! Yay! And then sword. Alright, and we just need to get a shovel. Alright, so they gave us two. Does he... Okay, so there's all of the tools part of Comet Lord's request. Down a living wood bow. We should probably do that too. Spice of Life Carrot Edition, you are correct. Yep. Um I should enchant this, see what we get on here. We have insight on this one, which is why I wasn't using it. But I should probably see what we get on it. I came down here for something and now I don't remember. What? So let's get this and go up and see what we can get on this bow. You're enjoying my stream? Well, that's awesome. I'm, mm, we're almost at power two, and I'd be much happier with power two. So we'll get a couple more little um, XP drops. Almost at 15. Almost! Uh, make him shears? <laughs> that's what I was considering, is if you needed shears too. I have no idea if this is actually working. If this is considered an inventory or not, we might have to put a chest there. Someone hasn't learned to leave that stuff alone. I'm not seeing anything in there. So I might need to do this. We'll see if this one will give us what we need. Um, yep, that's what I needed to do. More living wood. Oops. 
I do understand what you mean. You totally don't have to be in the club to watch me. I'll hang out with anybody. <laughs> but yeah, no, I understand. Sometimes um, a Twitch stream, a Twitch streamer will make you feel like you have to be a part of their special little group in order to get have interaction with them and to follow along because there would be a lot of like inside jokes that sort of thing. No inside jokes here. Alright, let's see if we can do the string. Now one. <laughs> We're ever so slowly. Alright, are you producing things? Hmm. I'm a little baffled. I mean, I know it's slower, but it should have... It should have put something in the chest by now, don't you think? Go! Go! You can do it! Grow, little tree! As I watch the night fall... Come on, come on! Ah, oh, you produced stuff! Yeah, yeah. And of course, when this flickers, it'll drop it in there. That's what I wanted to see. That is totally what I wanted to see. Yeah, it is really slow, but the whole point here was just to set up some slow mana gen. There, we got one more mana infused string. <laughs> that for slow is better than none you are correct see it started putting stuff in there now yeah <laughs> the end of flames won't eat apples you're correct the gormorillus will yep that's why it's a spruce tree and not an oak tree Might just have to wait a little bit. This was for our bow, right? We're waiting to get 15 levels. We're almost at 15, but I would need to do something in here to do that. How about we do this? No problems. I, yep. Yeah, okay. Most of the time, you guys are telling me something I didn't notice, so no problem. No worries at all. Um, actually, what I might do, though, I have these other hopping bonsais. Maybe I should just get them running, and uh, this would be nice, this would be nice, and that would be nice. And I have the dirt, so I just need to make the chests.
go. Grow. Okay. Yeah, have more string. There we go. Now we can do the bow. There's that for him. And now we just have to wait until we have enough to do all of the gear. Living root bonsai, living rock bonsai pot, not kind of the same as a normal one. What do you, what? From botanic bonsai. I'm gonna guess no. But maybe it is. Maybe it's just a pretty one. Because it's looking like it does the same thing. Uh, it doesn't look like it's hopping. This uses a regular bonsai pot and living rock. Let's look it up. This mod adds botanic bonsai tree pots except mana to boost growth. There you go. Nope. If you shoot mana at it, look at here. Place a bonsai pot manager near a living rock bonsai pot. Place a chest near the manager and direct a mana spreader into the manager. The manager does not require mana to collect items, and it also works with regular bonsai pods, but it does require mana to boost living rock plants. <clears throat> so there you go. And it also looks like you can color living rock bonsai pots using dye. So yeah, you need to make a manager. Do, do, do. There you go. Now we've learned. There, you need to make this guy. <laughs> and then you need to surround it with the living rock bonsai pots and a chest nearby and then shoot mana at the bonsai pot manager and it will, apparently that's what it says anyway. And yeah, the mod, pa mod pack page says this mod's been disabled for now, but it hasn't been removed. You can still download it. So maybe they're just saying that it's not going to be updated and or supported. Sweet. Yes. That tiny little bit of stuff will be nice. Um, yeah. Means it will just keep running whenever it needs to. Ooh, we got ten! Okay. We can do a helmet and some boots. Um, so we just need a bit more, and then we'll be able to do everything we need for his request. Um, put you in there, and you in there, because once I have 15 levels, I'm totally going to enchant this.
Getting closer every time. Just closer and closer. Yeah! I know this would go faster if I had more end of flames. I just don't have the resources to maintain that many more. <laughs> we should put the iron away that we're carrying around that we don't need. Um, so we can start figuring out what to do next with this iron. So we've got that. And we need 14. Pre-Alfhem mana generation preference is probably... Oh, is that pre alfheim Um, hmm... I mean, the Gormorellis is really easy. Thinking. That one is not. That one is not. Neither is that one. Okay. <clears throat> so the Entrepanium is pretty cool, but it's hard to get all the supplies you need. Um, if I were to say, it would probably go with, uh, if you can make lava, the thermolily. Um, if not, if you can't make the, the lava, if you can't craft lava, then I go with the gormorillus. But the reflausia is pretty cool, especially if you can automate flower creation. The reflausia is pretty cool. Um, the shulkmi knot's really awesome, but it's gated, um... Not just by the Gaia spirit, but the, um, to make the shulk me not automated, you have to be able to get shulkers, and you need to use the Kakuna Caprice to do that, and the Kakuna Caprice needs something that you have to get from the Alfine portal. The Reflousy has been in here for a little while, but I love it. When I set it up in my Floromancer, I was like, this is awesome. Because you it eats other generating it eats other crafted flowers. So any Batania crafted flowers it will eat and consume mana. And the flowers that I gave it in Floromancer were the um the mana stars and the pure daisies. And there was one other one. But both of these are just petals. So you just need to be able to have a petal, a jaded amaranthus, and um, seeds. The Shulk Me Knot is one that uh, you generate a bunch of mana when a shulker kills another mob. It does not have to be another shulker, but in order to automate it, it's a lot easier to just have two shulkers shoot each other. So you need a hazy dream uh, flower so that mobs um, aggro each other. And then when the shulker dies, it doesn't drop any loot, but you get a whole bunch of mana from it. And I automated that in my Floromancer as well. So close to 15 levels. I've used, I have automated every single one of the generating flowers that currently exist. My Floromancer series is 140 some episodes long and each episode is approximately an hour. It's because it's just my stream archive. So yeah. Uh, Floromancer is an expert Batania pack, so there have been changes to make make it harder, but it's still lots of fun. And the only main mods in it are Batania and Quark. The rest of it is vanilla. So all of the automation is with vanilla redstone and Batania. 
which is why I think I enjoyed it so much, is because I've forced myself to learn the redstone. I didn't really know redstone before that. We have eight. Almost there. I do not believe the functionality of Batania has changed. When was the last time you played with Batania? Um, because the Floormancer is a 112 pack. So it's got Batania from 112. So, yeah. Oh, uh, you play it's, it's changed since 1710. Functionality in Batania has changed since 1710. It changed in 110. Um it changed a little bit 172. <laughs> Why redstone contraptions? I have I have no doubt. <laughs> no doubt in my mind that I will end up causing some lag. Let's make some more charcoal. That'll give me some more XP so that I can get this done. And then we need to keep deciding whether or not we're going to go back to caving to get kill the creepers that we need to get. Um, yeah, the wireless red string, the red, the wireless redstone and red string is was certainly. A challenge for me to learn because there's no tutorials about it anywhere so I just had to learn most of it myself come on there we go but I used it a lot throughout my entire playthrough of Floormancer once I learned it the wireless redstone and red string stuff I learned I used it a lot so are you kidding that gave me one sapling Man! <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, we're almost there. 